What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new series and in this series we're going to be talking about advanced express concepts. So in this series we're going to do we're going to do quite a bit. We're going to actually use MongoDB, kind of the standard staples MongoDB, Mongoose, uh, authenticating and authorizing users, adding cookies and sessions, um, creating a login with passport, handling file uploads. That's kind of new. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, storing and serving images, obviously, deploying an express application, securing an express application, at least the basics of security, at least, and then running behind a web server. Now, check this out. This is all this is new. Like, sorry, guys, I'm talking a little bit too fast. Let me, let me back up a bit. So this we've already done this. This is actually the simple website that we built on the simple website series. I'll have a link of the whole series down below. But we've already done this, so none of this should look new to you guys if you did keep up with that series. And our speakers, well, I mean, everything's in back exactly the same. Speakers and then feedback is a little bit different. It looks a little bit different. I did a little bit different. I said a little bit different so many times right there. <laughs> Anyways, I, I did something uh, a little bit different here. It's just, you know, uh, without emails no more. Our accounts, so people that want to do this need to like sign up and register. So now we have an account tab right here with register and log in and check this out. We could uh, put in our avatar picture right now. We can't, but we can select a uh, uh, image, but yeah, we're going to be doing all of this in this brand new series. Now I do want to run through the code just really quick. So our code is exactly the same, but I just you know, move things around since we're going to be messing a lot with middleware. I did just move things around and made things simpler for me. Now, if you if you have a different way of structuring your applications, guys, there is no right and wrong answer on structuring your applications. Everybody has their own opinions. I'm probably going to get hate for that comment, but really, it really depends on you, like how you like to structure your applications or how the business or your company already did it. And you just got to get used to that. This is the way I like to do things now. I mean, I've done, I've, I've done, I've done, I, I structured my projects differently over the past, past years. You know, uh, you've seen me, you've seen how I structured, uh, uh, my other videos. They're not the, they don't look the same like right now. Anyways, this is how I'm doing things now. So yeah, it's just, just take a look around. Everything's exactly the same. We have our routes, but everything's in a folder. Now we still have our services. We still have our views, but we're using pug now, you know, just so you keep you keep you guys on your toes. You know, we're just using another template engine and we have a config. This is this is a new thing, I guess, from the last video. But if you stick with me, you're already seeing what this does. Our config folder has our index.js, which is basically our global thing. So we don't have to keep on including this. We'll just pass this config into parameters as in right here our config you see and we're passing it down all the way to our routes which is pretty cool so anyways guys just i'm gonna have this in github it's going to be linked down below my github for this application advanced express website so i hope you enjoy the series if you enjoy the last series that's great you're more than likely going to enjoy this series because it's dealing more of those kind of nuances that people don't really get yet. You know, cookies, logins, passports, file uploads, all that stuff is dealing with that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I hope you like the series, guys. And if you do like the, I guess, the concept or initial this this intro video of the series, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you have not. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It does mean a lot to me. And thank you for supporting me. That's how you support me by liking that, liking this video, hitting that like button. Thank you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.